Welcome to today's musical read. We'll be reading Where is the Green Sheep? This is Adventures in Suzuki Parenting. Hi, I'm Jody St. Clair. Don't forget to hit subscribe and like so that you can get practice tips and musical reads every week. This is a book that I always am very excited to read in my Suzuki early childhood classes. It's a favorite. The kids love it. It's actually a little bit longer in uh, length, but it's still just so engaging that the kids really stay focused, um, even though it's a little bit longer. And uh, if you haven't been to Suzuki, Suzuki Early Childhood class and seen a group of one and two and three-year-olds all sitting there watching a book, it's a really amazing experience. Um, you can look for local Suzuki Early Childhood classes through the Suzuki Association of America's website. This is by Mim Fox, and she's written a lot of kind of classic children's books, and it's illustrated by Judy Horek. I um, do not have a song to go with this book, but I use a lot of sound effects as I'm reading it, and uh, most of them are kind of intuitive, but it just makes reading a little bit more playful when you're reading to your child. So it starts out with different colored sheep. I'm going to kind of skip over this because um, it doesn't have any musical elements. But what I like to do is here when I say, here is the swing sheep. And here is the slide sheep. So you can use your voice to go up and down. But where is the green sheep? Here is the up sheep. And here is the down sheep. Here is the band sheep. Bam, 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 uh, and here is the clown sheep. But where is the green sheep? Right, so there's lots and lots of different sheep, and we keep wondering, where is the green sheep? Here is the wind sheep, and here is the wave sheep. Here is the scary sheep, and here is the brave sheep. But where is the green sheep? Here is the near sheep. And here is the far sheep. Here is the moon sheep. And here is the star sheep. But where is the green sheep? Where is that green sheep? Turn the page quietly. Let's take a peek. Here's our green sheep. Fast asleep. So I have a little toy green sheep, which I love to bring out. The, it just brings a little bit more enchantment to the book. It's a beautiful ending. You can whisper at the end just to keep everybody as quiet. And when you have a room of kids or even just you and your child who are reading it together and the focus is so there and it's quiet and you're enjoying that moment together, it's a truly beautiful thing. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you really enjoy this book. If you are looking to add it to your collection, there is a link down below. So go check that out and go ahead and you can click on that link to purchase it. Enjoy the book. 
happy reading.